Okay, today's video was how to turn a boring piece of melamine, three quarter inch melamine board into this. Yeah, and I just wanted to show the way I did it because I didn't use um, print and cut. So I just kind of can show you how I aligned the laser every time with it to make sure, you know, you get everything in the right place. But this is not quite finished. I was going to do it, I'll put a picture, but the same as we did the other seat in the trailer. This is going to have the LEDs and stuff around it as well, but this was a big one. It's six feet by 26 inches and three quarter inches thick. So I'll get into the video now and show you how it's done. But yep, that was the final outcome. And this is how I've done it without using print and cut. Okay, so in Lightburn, whatever size your material is, that is how wide you want to make a square, just an extra one. So mine is 26 inches wide, as you'll see up the top there. So I've got a 26 inch wide square here. And what I'm going to do is take this square, put it like roughly in the center of the laser. I just dragged out two other squares, what fitted exactly. And you want to zoom in and, you know, like adjust these till they're exactly on the lines just in case anything gets mixed up, you know, where you can put your square back to. Okay, so they're right on top of the lines there with this square in the middle. So what I did was frame this square. So when you frame this square, when it comes up this side, you want to put a piece of wood in there. I have these two pieces of wood here, they're both I've got a nice straight edge on them so I'm going to use them as the two outside pieces which I'm going to clamp down with a bunch of these but first I've got to frame that square in there so so what I'm going to do is I sent that square which was 26 inches wide over to the laser area so I'm going to say file enter not going to hit anything. I've still got to clean this lens, but I'm going to frame that there. And what I'm going to do is move this to the edge here and make sure that this red dot follows that edge perfectly. So I'm going to have to frame it a couple of times. Okay, so now this laser's coming exactly along this edge, so I'm going to trap that down. Yeah, and that is about perfect. So I'm going to clamp this one down, same way, making sure I push this down as I do it so it don't move at all. Okay, so I'm going to give that one last frame, make sure that's perfect there, and perfect there, yeah. Like I say, now I know that that is square with the machine. To put that wood through, because it's going in the pass through, I've got to lift this head up on the laser. So to do that, I'm just going to move this over here, push down on that little tab and pull this out. Take the laser head out, you see it needs cleaning as well. And then in your toolkit, you should have got these Allen wrenches. If not, it's a six mil Allen wrench. And then you just want to, you can make a mark. If you use your autofocus, you really, you want to make a mark where it was so you can put it back. But I have got a mark on mine from last time, so just keep that in mind if you want to make sure it goes back in the right place. Yep, just give it a little half a twist. Either drop it right down or take it off. I'll just drop it down here and tighten it back up a little bit. I'm going to clean this lens. This can go right up in there as far as you can push it until it stops. And that's how much room you need by the time you get that board on here, as far as I remember. Because this table's got to come right up as well. You we have to remove this little drawer at the front. If you ain't done it before, you have to remove two little screws at the end there. That looks pretty good. 
Okay, so that's all in there now, ready. What I did was, made an inch and a half here, because that's how far away roughly I started, and hooked it on the end there, and you see I went about an inch and a quarter, just to make sure that when I get to that end, I'm still all good for the size. Um, other than that, I've got the first chunk of it in here. It's an hour and 57 minutes, so it's a long cut, but you know, it's, I'm going to frame it and you can see. And they're all full graphics within that. What I do is, this is how I did it. I only select the graphics, what are the full graphics. So I'm just going to select all these for a second and then just take out the ones that ain't full graphics, which is these three. All the rest of these, I'll quickly preview it. I have cut selected graphics on as well, so that's why it's allowed me to do that. So you can see that's going to print out that. After probably, after maybe like every 40 minutes or so, I'll uh, just at least not clean the lens, but just clean off any debris that's on top of the uh, nozzle because it builds up on there. This stuff collects up after a while. So you can see there's my two boards and that one over there. And then that way it should just slide right through. And then I've just got a stand on this end. I just finished. I just wanted to show how I'm gonna move this up. So what I did was I went on the computer and that's printed. What you do is select the whole project, not the boxes at the side. Just leave them, like, you know, just stay inside and leave them boxes where they are. And then whatever printed last, you'll see mine got up to this WPS or Schnitz and this printed as well. So what I did first was on light burn, hold, sh hold shift so it goes up in a straight line and then push it to where you got up to, but you can't go past because Vortex ain't printed yet, so that's got to come around about here. So these are already printed out so you can see them. So what you want to do is click on the laser location tool and put this right at the top of Daffy Duck's finger, right on the point. So that is how far it's got to go through. So if I push this straight, So that's just pushed straight through and it's right at the top oh right at the top of Daffy Duck's finger and just to double check that that's in the correct place I'm going to go in the center of Bugs Bunny's eyeball and now I can check this on here and that is right on the eyeball I mean you can do that a few times and just check the schnitz is still here so right on the corner of the M of Schnitz. Yeah, and that is right on the corner of the M, which is correct. So yeah, I mean, that's how I'm going to move it up. Okay, so that's the second part done. First on light burn, you slide it in on light burn to where you want to go. So now I want this Kawasaki right in the center. So now I've got to remove, there's a panel I'm going to just go around here. There's a panel around the back here. Let's see if I can show you it. It's a little bit tight to see. I'm going to remove these bolts here and take that panel off so I can slot it through. Hopefully I've got enough room. If not, I'm going to have to pull my laser out, but I might just get lucky, hopefully. It's the 8mm Allen wrench. I took my design and moved it up until the Kawasaki, like until the center of the table was right in the center. And then I'm gonna click something on here that is already printed out that I can see on the screen just to show. So on light burn, you click the laser location tool, zoom right into something that's already been printed out. So up here, this EK chains click right in the center of like this square which is going to be there so what I've got to do is push this through 
until that point that I just clicked on now, which is right here. Once that point reaches there, then I know because it's in a straight line, I know that I'm, you know, it's going good still. So I'm just going to push this in and just hope I've got enough room. Okay, so that's right on the tip of that. So now what I'm going to do is to check, make sure that my design is in the right place. I'm going to click right on this little center part of the A, that little kind of bit that's left on the A. And if that lines up right there, I know I'm pretty close. Yeah, and that's pretty much exact. I could maybe go a tiny, tiny bit back this way. Uh, and I'm just going to check one more. The end of Speedy Gonzales' towel. Yeah, and that's right on there. So I know that's in the right place. And that, you know, so now this corresponds again with the computer. So all I have to do now is with cut selected graphics is select the graphics that I want to send this time. And then you can do the next full graphics, which would be these three, this one. Yeah, the road runner. So that next I've done them. So yeah, so just use the location tool, make sure it lines up on a couple of the points because like I say when you press frame it's gonna frame the whole area. So I'm gonna clean this head off a bit. So yeah, I'm gonna start that one now. Okay, so that's finished now. So what, now, what I'm going to do now is flip this board 180 degrees and flip my design on there 180 degrees so they match. So first I'm going to flip this board. Uh, so I'm on now. It looks roughly like it's about here. So. All I've got to do now is line this up and make sure, make sure that's all sitting nice and flat. As well, I'm going to clean that lens before I do anything else. This design is flipped 180. So now, some of these are still just about on the laser. So I'm going to get the location tool, go zoom right in and click right on the corner of the eye of Kawasaki. And that comes to there so that's telling me this has got to go in that far okay so when I press the location tool right on the corner of that eye now it's right there now I'm going to click it on the corner uh, on the center of the O yeah to make 100% sure so this is bottom center of the eye and then top center of the eye Yep, that looks good to me. So now I'm just going to carry on and do the same thing. They're going this way. Once that ends, drag it through. And that'll be my last cut. I should get this done in two more now. So, yeah, so now I'm just going to select the designs that I want to send over. And send them. And one thing I just warn you, because I did it. If you lower the bed down, it's hard to put it back up because now the wood's clamped there. The autofocus stops you from lifting it up. I'll have to find out or ask if there's a way to override the autofocus because I couldn't lift it back up, but I still could line it up because I've got, you know, you can look down this edge and line up these edges and then use the um, location feature on Lightburn to make sure you're in the right place. But yeah, that's how it looks like finished. I'm going to take it outside and I'm going to blow it off with some air just to get most of this light dust off of it. I did blow it out with air and then I just damped this cloth. You can see it's not really wet. I can't squeeze any water out of it. So I'm just going to start with this and just start rubbing it off. I 
I might just black paint fill the whole thing.